Not only is all of the preseason impact in Fizzy Max testing important when it comes to concussions, but so is the equipment like this guy and the culture of the athletes themselves, both of which have come a long way. And the brawling started. Helmets in hockey used to not exist, and goalie protection was literally a mask, but now they're built for this high-impact sport. It's a better plastic, and it's better shaped to where it'll deflect the impact, and then the padding inside the helmet has also gotten a lot better. A lot of helmet protection has to do with how well the helmet fits. So if it's loose and floppy, it's not protecting the athlete like it should. Of course, it's not going to prevent concussions, but it's going to help. Even if they get a concussion, it might not be as bad. Having proper testing and equipment is important when it comes to concussion management, and it's huge in preventing second impact syndrome. Once you have one, then there's a possibility that you could be affected your entire life. When you get a, the first concussion, the brain basically gets a bruise if you were to let's say get hit in the head again without that being healed then you're basically adding a bruise on top of a bruise. Second impact syndrome is a big thing that we don't want. Hockey players are known for being tough and playing through just about anything but in order to truly have change when it comes to head trauma the tests and helmets they're all good but the players have to put ego aside. We take a lot of pride in playing hurt. I think it's part of being a hockey player is to kind of fight through that stuff, play that tough guy role, but to an extent it's you got to be cautious of how how bad the injury really is. Having that subjectivity makes it imperative that Thunderbolt athletic trainer Brock Potter and his players create a bond. They say they're symptom free and you have to trust them and that's why I build a lot of trust in my athletes that they're going to be honest with me, but especially hockey players, you have guys that want to get back out there, so these tests, the, both the impact and the Physimax, they just add on to the confidence that I have that they're symptom free and that their cognitive level is back to where it needs to be before we start the return to play protocol. The staff wants their athletes to be healthy. That's why the tests, the equipment and honesty from the players all have to work together in order to have an impact. Megan Thompson, 14 Sports.